I wouldn't say addictive, but I'm pretty obsessed with winning. The feelings and emotions you get when you do win are incredibly special. The first time I felt that was in, in the Olympic Games. And I sort of said to myself again, I know it'll never be as good as that, but if I can get 10% of the feeling I had winning an Olympics in future major championships, then it's worth fighting for. Pretty good. Top of a bunk. Smash your kangaroo, really. Got a, a good balcony going here. You can definitely electrocute yourself though. Yeah. Pretty, this is one of the, the better Airbnbs it's that we've really had, I reckon. Yeah. I'm a fan. That's the beach there, that way. Yeah. yeah. Me and Andrew got um, trained as baristas after the Olympics in yeah. 2012. Yeah, yeah, because we just like, <laughs> like, we love it so much. It's, it's, trained yeah, it's just <laughs> had to be done. Once I am retired, um, I imagine there will be quite a void. <laughs> and I think there is in a lot of sports people's lives because you train so hard, you dedicate a hell of a lot of your life in order to, to do well in a sport and then you have to find a, a new vocation in life. The competition that we've got in Long Beach coming up, um, one of the main American guys, Jeff, is going to be hopefully turning up as well to turn into a slightly better competition. Um, so we'll sort of see how that develops. He might be in amazing shape and jump really, really far and we'll see what sort of shape I'm in. Um, but if I can, obviously I'll try and take away something something big from the competition. When I was a bit younger, I'd turn up to events and often if there were certain individuals there, I'd be thinking, well, I'm fighting for, for second or third at, at best. Um, then you start winning things and then that changes. If I'm jumping against the best in the world and still winning, um, I'm doing everything right and, and that's the way I see it in sport. You should never shy away from competing against your, your major competitors. You should, you should seek them out and if they beat you, learn from it. If you beat them, then you're doing something right. I'm pressured because He's like a fairly big name in the sport and everyone's watching what he does. He's quite good in that way that he's not a prima donna, he'll just turn up and do the meet and it, he's willing to fail and that's probably why he wins. He had appendicitis two weeks ago, got a little bit better, didn't have an operation and then um, did one week's training and he's like, oh yeah, I'm ready to compete now. So I think he'll do good today. Generally, the Santa Ana's die down, so the wind should start coming behind you as the day goes on. It's cross right now. So it's just turning like this. I'd say in an hour it'll be diagonal. I really don't assess Greg till he stands on the runway, because we never know if he's going to compete or not. When he takes his uh, jumper off and stands on the runway, then I start assessing. Up until then, it's chaos. This tray. I don't think set real good. So you're better off jumping back, back of the board. Because <clears throat> if you get on the front of the board, you're gonna get a rock. So first jump, I'd definitely be on the back, see if that's solid enough. Dan has coaches here. Um, we can like iron out like a, a lot of issues here, you know, before heading to like the main circuit. Um, and that's what it's all about here. You know, see where you're at, you know, just go out and compete and there's no pressure. He's just said to him, like, he's just to take care of the basics for this comp, really, you know? Like, he's just actually got a, he doesn't need to strive for perfection here. <laughs> like, he just needs to get going and get things started. If he gets a few jumps in around, you know, like the 8.30, 8.20... I think Dan I'll be, I'll was playing for three or four yeah. jumps, that's it, you know? So yeah. After three or four, we'll jump. Today's Long Beach competition um, plays a really important role, actually, in the build up to Rio. First of all, it gives us an insight into how the training's been going, because if I'm, if I'm jumping well, then it, it means that things have been going well. If I'm not, that we know there's things to, to change up. So I see a competition like today as, as very important and, and one that can really set up my season well. Uh, leg feels okay? Good. 
It's good. <laughs> Excellent. If I can hit a... He's really, if I get another 30... He's really, really, like, really great. It's going to be my best ever set of jumps. Yeah. It's my longest opener by about a foot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you think he's very relaxed, but at the same time he's super focused as well. Where you see some other guys that wouldn't look at their competitors, they're just like, you know, like, you see they're in the zone, where Greg, like, you know, okay, he's focused, but at the same time, like, he's not, there's no tension, like, in his body, or like, you know, it's not like he's, you see he's nervous, so I think he's just a natural competitor, you know, like, and you see that he's excited about to jump. Looks like that's Greg done for uh, for the competition. There's like a gap in between the third and fourth round, and just as he was ready to go for his fourth jump, I think there was some sort of query. It delayed it by another five ten minutes. The wind really picked up. So this early in the season, I think he's just decided to to call it off as he's out of the competition. If the other good jumper Jeff might jump further, he might win. Um, the victory is not really important now, but Jeff's one of the other top jumpers in the world. Lynn Davis, who was the previous um, Olympic champion in the long jump from Great Britain, he used to jump against Ralph Boston. So um, I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Next big competition um, will probably be when I get back to Europe. So I get back there mid-May, I'll be jumping in a, a street meet in Manchester, but then straight after that I'll possibly go into to a competition in Hengelo in, in Holland, which is, is known as a very good place to jump. Um, and as long as I'm in good shape, I'd like to go there and see if I can put out a, a big distance. And then a couple of weeks after that, it's my first Diamond League, um, heading to Rome. The last time I was in Rome, I jumped a, a decent 832 and, and won the Diamond League there. So um, I'm hoping to, to replicate a performance like that. So yeah, it's all coming very, very quickly. And before we know it, that'll all be done. The Olympics will be here as well.